It's the final in the women's 100-yard freestyle. There's another one of those untouchable NCAA records, a 45-56 swim by Simone Manuel back in 2017. This 100-yard free features the final race for Leah Thomas at these NCAA championships in her first NCAA women's championship. Thomas, the winner two nights ago in the 500-yard free, tied for fifth in the 200-yard free. She was the Ivy League champion in this event. The Ivy League runner-up in this event was Isaac Hennig. Isaac is a transgender man, still eligible to compete in women's races because he has yet to start hormone therapy. Ivy champion of the 50-yard free and a surprise finalist here in the 100-yard free. So they'll redo their duel from the Ivy championship. In the center of the pool, the top qualifier, Gretchen Walsh from Virginia, 19-year-old freshman, has twice been a runner-up in the 50 free to Kate Douglas and also in the 100 back. You feel like this may finally be her chance. She has lost to two American records where she has also swam American record times. Is this where she gets championship number one? I think she's the favorite. She definitely has more speed than anybody else and she's been swimming so well in the finals, but don't forget about Katherine Burkhoff who beat her in the 100 backstroke. Both of them broke the American record, fastest in history. Burkhoff keeps it. They both go 46 plus this morning. This is going to be another incredible race here between the junior and Gretchen Walsh, a freshman. Burkhoff, yeah, and Burkhoff better known for her backstroke. She was only third at ACC championships in this freestyle, but as you said this morning, swam the second fastest time just behind Walsh. Alabama's Morgan Scott, another serious contender out of lane number three. One of two from Bama in this final, along with Corey Dupree down in lane one. Virginia and Alabama should be the favorites in that 400-yard relay to close out the meet. A good point about Alabama. Those are the only two returning swimmers here to swim in the final. McNeil, who won last year, was in the consolation final. Take your mark. Will it be championship number one for the 19-year-old Virginia freshman, Gretchen Walsh? Great start there for Burkhoff in lane number five. Walsh is actually the slowest of any of the swimmers, 0.75 off the block. Morgan Scott in lane three for Alabama, and now Gretchen Walsh moving forward at the turn. Walsh and Scott basically even. A 22 flat for Morgan Scott. She is flying out there. She's not going to get this to Walsh. But now Gretchen Walsh pulling ahead, and Catherine Burkhoff trying to close. Walsh ahead of Scott and Burkhoff. Leah Thomas into fifth. I think Walsh is going to do it. She's going to win her first title. Twice a runner up here at these championships. Now the freshman's on top. 46-05. Gretchen Walsh gets the win. Scott finishes second and Burkhoff third. What a race. What a gutsy performance from the 19-year-old freshman. Goes to fourth fastest time in history. Simone Manuel and Erica Brown and Erica McNeil. You see how slow she was off the block. Boy, when she starts to tune up her start, she's going to be really dangerous. She would have been under. But boy, she's got great turns and that great length of stroke. Watch this last turn right here. She doesn't have the best underwater. She's not maybe as good as Morgan Scott or even Catherine Burkhoff, obviously. But boy, she is good once she breaks to the surface right there. Ah, oh, beautiful swim. I said fourth fastest swim in history, fourth fastest performer in history, 46. 05. And again, she's only 19 years old. What must have felt like a monumental drought for Virginia of two events is done. They have another championship <laughs> here. Cavaliers get the 20 with the win for Walsh. Good second place finish from Morgan Scott in Alabama. Alabama goes second and fourth. That's why we think they can push they, Virginia they in that definitely push Virginia relay. in the relay. And what a swim for Morgan Scott as a senior goes her best time by half a second. Yale's Isaac Hennig ends in a tie for fifth, and Leah Thomas's first NCAA Women's Swimming and Diving Championship ends with an eighth place finish. Gretchen Walsh, two seconds, bunch of relay wins. Now she has an individual national championship.
Gretchen, a freshman, best time, national champion. What is the X factor that this Virginia team has? I feel like I'm just getting to know all of you on a very personal level here. Um, honestly, I don't really know what it is. Like the team, the coaches, everything about Virginia has just clicked for me. And I like really couldn't imagine myself anywhere else. What would you say your favorite thing about being on the Virginia team is? Um, just these ladies that I get to swim with every single day, the support I receive, and then being able to come here and do stuff like this is just amazing. So yeah, I'm so grateful. Well, enjoy this moment. I know you have a relay later, but congratulations on this win. Thank you so much.